Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Um, yeah, I've been busy with stuff. Uh, I've just never had time to film and upload and edit a shave, so... But today, I'm back. Uh, and I'm gonna be using a new razor that I bought and a new soap that I bought a while ago, but I've just never had the chance to use it. Uh, I always try and keep these things just to use them on camera first time, so uh, you guys are kind of getting the same experience as I'm getting. Not quite the same because I'm just uh, explaining it to you how it all kind of works and feels and stuff, but anyway. Okay, let me show you. Oh, and a new brush as well. A uh, new brush that I haven't used. Uh, let me show you that first. Okay, I was sent this by DS Cosmetic when they sent me the uh, Kevy Shaves custom brush. Uh, they, they very kindly made for me. They've made a couple others for uh, other YouTube wet shavers, Paul H has got one and Ken Surfs has one. Uh, I don't know if there's any more, but um, there may well be that I've not heard. But they sent me this one when I got the Kevy Shaves one and it's the same uh, the same shape here it is here as Paul H's brush. But this one's better because this one isn't red and this one doesn't have Paul H on it. It just has DS Cosmetic uh, 24 uh, shaving brush, which is 24 millimeters, the knot. Uh, it's a synthetic knot, it's very soft. Um, it's a nice shape, very comfortable to hold actually. Um, yeah, feels nice, but we'll see how it performs. Uh, the soap for today, uh, a new soap that I bought, a new soap that I bought a while ago. Is it new then? Well, it's still new, I haven't used it. Uh, it's this, this is Phoenix and Bow V60, and you can see the little PB Phoenix and Bow. Look at this label. Did I say Phoenix and Vaux there? Phoenix and Vaux, Phoenix and Bow. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up with the V and the B. Uh, yeah, V60, and it's this, the label's like brushed, brushed steel, very nice. Uh, I'll show you the ingredients on the back, and you can pause that right there. Yeah, so this is a, this is a, a kind of coffee, it's a gourmand soap, it's a, there's the colour of it there. Yeah, it's kind of quite soft. Not quite soft, as you can see, I push my finger into it. Uh, the notes on this are coffee, cocoa, uh, green tobacco, vanilla, and benzoin. Yeah, and it's a, it's a kind of sweet, I wouldn't say it's particularly strong coffee scented, but you can smell the coffee. Uh, cocoa and vanilla, just a nice, a nice scent to it. I don't have a coffee scented soap, so I picked this up. Um, I'll put links for everything. I think you can still get this. Um, from Phoenix and Bow and other places. Okay, let me show you the razor that I purchased. <laughs> that means bought. <laughs> um, it's this. This is the Hone Type 15A, and this is made of aluminium. Y you guys in the States say aluminium, but that's wrong. It's aluminium. <laughs> uh, here it's here, yeah. It's got a couple little marks on it. You know, you can see it there. It's not completely, but it still looks good. It has hone stamped on the top there. Yeah, this is a it's a very light razor. It comes in at uh, 53 grams, so it's uh, very light. But it looks nice and chunky. It's a three piece. You screw the handle off like this. You see, and there's the head there, and that comes apart like that. And there it is there, and then that goes back in like so and you screw the handle on, like that. Yeah, I just thought, I don't have one of these razors and I think you can get this in brass. This is the aluminium one, as I say. You get it in this color, you also get it in like a uh, silver. But I'll put links to everything and you can go and check it out at your own leisure. Uh, inside that, I'm gonna put a feather blade. Second use on that. You can see it has one dot on there. So today is its second use. Uh, I shall just put that in the razor just now. Yeah, so what's been happening since I've been gone? Nah, really? Are you kidding? 15 times? Wow. This has quite a long thread to uh, place the blade over. Let's put that back on. Yeah, there's the blade in there. Perfect alignment, look at that. Absolutely spot on. 
Yeah, very nice. Okay, we shall use that. Let's uh, wet the face, get lathered up, let's load the brush. Do everything like that. And we shall get shaving. Okay, let me just wet this brush. And we'll just go straight into the soap. Gather the soap on the brush. Yeah, this is a, it's quite a light scent. I'm just going to dip the brush again. I don't think it was wet enough there. To gather the soap. Yeah, you can see it now. It's uh, starting to pick up the soap. Yeah, it's, it's not a particularly strong scent. The coffee's coming out a little bit more now. But um, I've used Phoenix and Bow in the past. Nice uh, UK artisan, Kerry and Sarah Burrows the people there that make this. Kerry makes the soap, he makes the soaps and uh, Sarah designs all the labels. Very nice they are too. Okay let's see if that's enough. Uh, I'll just take out what's in the tub here. And uh, just take it a little there. Yeah the coffee's coming out more now once it's lathered. It's not a, a Ken sort of video. <laughs> okay. That's the lid from the soap. Yeah, not going in there today. Not today. Okay, let's uh, build the lather. And you can watch how I do it. I just paint it on. This look, it's uh, nice and thick. Add some water. Yeah, this is an extremely um, comfortable shape of handle to hold. You can almost hold it like a like you could a, a, a pen or a pencil. This is a nice soft knot. I'll put links for everything as I say. Just keeping on uh, adding water little bits at a time. Okay, I'll be quiet and just let you listen to the, uh, the sound of the brush making the lather. Because I think it's a great sound. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, I'm like a like a magician. Bits at a time. <laughs> a magician, a sorcerer. I'm like a sorcerer. Yeah, Phoenix and Bo can take a bit of water, so 
Don't be afraid to add some. Look at that ladder. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. That's good. Let's get some heat into this blade. Tidy up this little bit around here. Put that back onto the brush. And we shall get going with the Hone Type 15A. Feather blade second use. Very nice. Yeah, actually the, the angle on this is probably like a little bit steeper than you would probably go, if you can see it there, look. Um, yeah, it's probably about there. And that's very smooth. Does it feel mild? Uh, I tell you what, it feels <laughs> it feels like there's no blade in there. That's how smooth that feels. The good thing about this razor, no overhang at all. The blade's all enclosed. Yeah, th these razors have been out for um, a little while. But um, they get good reviews, so I thought I'd pick one up just to just to try it. Nice uh, soap, this Phoenix and Bow. Always do good soaps. So are you all uh, ready for the big shave southwest? I'm not sure when I'll get this uh, video uploaded, but hopefully I think it'll be before that. Yeah, it's a mild razor, but it's, it feels very nice. That soap is fantastic. Okay, first pass done. Nice, nice slickness. Very comfortable. Let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, back for the second pass. Look at the lather in here. Absolutely gorgeous. The scent strength on this, once lathered, Probably about a four or five. Not that strong, but um, you can smell the, the coffee now. Once it's lathered up. Coffee, cocoa, vanilla, very nice.
I was watching some YouTube videos and uh, some people are as we are so obsessed with uh, shaving and fanatical and stuff like that some people are like that with coffee you know they, um, they brew it their own way and grind the beans and all these different kinds of beans you get and stuff like that yeah really interesting <laughs> I don't drink that much coffee. I'm more of a tea man myself. A nice cup of tea. Of course I'm Scottish, so. Okay, let's go with the second pass with the Hone Type 15A. That's aluminium, aluminum. Yeah, one of the reasons I uh, I didn't have time to upload a video, I didn't feel in the mood of uh, shaving and filming and talking because I had too thick. Oh my goodness. I phoned up my dentist. Um, you know, it was coming in like waves, like that. there would be like 15 minutes of just pain, intense pain, and then it would go, and it would subside, and then it would come back again. So I phoned my dentist to say, uh, are there any kind of appointments left? Um, and they said, nope, but you can get an emergency appointment. You can, you can just come down and uh, sit and wait, and uh, one of the dentists will see you. So I went down there one day and uh, he took some x-rays and he couldn't really see anything and uh, he said I'd be kind of guessing but I think it might be this tooth here so he did some work on it and uh, I went away and I, I had another appointment booked but it was like a week later. I was like I don't think I'll be able to last a whole week with this pain. So um, I came home. And the pain the next day just was worse, so I just went down there again and uh, sat and waited. And I see my own dentist, and he uh, he started uh, the joy that is root canal work. Man, that's uncomfortable. Not this <laughs> root canal root canal work is uh, yeah, it's not nice. And he put the he put the the needle thing in to freeze my my gum, freeze my face and stuff, so he could work on it. And he had a nerve, <laughs> my tongue. I thought my tongue was uh, having an electric shock. It's like he put the needle in and he put it in a little bit further and it went. Zzz, and I was like, wow! <laughs> but um, yeah, it was worth it. But it's uh, it's still not fully fixed. I've still to go back next week. Goodness knows how much that'll cost but worth it to be pain free, definitely. Well, there's a couple of little dots here. Yeah, definitely. There's nothing worse than, the worst thing for me, too thick and a sore back. <laughs> That's it. Okay, two passes, I don't know where this shaving video is going about, talking about uh, dental work and stuff. Very nice, let me run so I'll come back for pass number three. I've gone and put my teeth in, and I'll be back with pass number three, okay? I'll see you in a minute, okay? Back for the third pass. It's still nice lather in this brush. Yeah, this brush is uh, it's so comfy to hold. It just, it's uh, nice and long, which is good. Some of them are a little bit stubby. Um, I've got quite a big hand, so uh, this feels nice. Cartridge police! <laughs> yeah, 
it's a nice knot in this as well. It's just like a standard kind of synthetic knot, but very soft. Creates a lather well, releases it. Still plenty in there. Okay. Let's go for pass number three with this against the growth of the hair. How your shape's been going well, I hope. Yeah, there's a little dot. Every time I've been shaving the last two or three times, there's a little weeper that opens up here. Yeah, I hope your shapes have been going well, as I say. And thank you for all the comments. Um, since I've been away the last time, since I made the last video, um, I've been answering them as best I can. Some people have been uh, recommending things, um, which I've, I've actually got, I'll use, I might use it in the next shave or the shave after that. It's a, uh, oh, I'll not see what it is. Yeah, look, there's a couple of little dots here of a little... So a mild razor, but you still need to be careful. Okay, let me just show you, those of you that don't know about this um, Adam's apple shaving over that, if you take a gulp and swallow and then hold it, your Adam, Adam's apple disappears, so it lets you shave over it, so... Just a little tip for anyone that doesn't know. Anyone that's new to the channel, thank you. <coughs> yeah, this is a comfy razor to use. It's not aggressive. Um, it feels different. Yeah, look, there's that little dot there. It feels different in that. It, uh, it almost has like a... A cushion type feel going over your face. And I know you might say that might be the soap, but... I don't know whether it's the shape of the head or... Just because it is so light, as I say, it's um, 53 grams, which isn't heavy at all. Nice slickness on that soap. Okay, three passes done. Let me have a little rinse and a feel about it, see if there's anything needing picked up. spots down on the neck here and 
and I have a new uh, a new technique that I'm going to show you today that I discovered uh, when I was shaving last week. Uh, I thought, wait a minute, am I doing this wrong? Am <laughs> I doing this wrong? Yeah, you're doing it wrong, Kevy. Holding the razor the wrong way round. All right. Is it this side you managed? Sh- All right, okay. Yeah, that feels much better. I can't even feel the blade. Wow, look at that. I even cut myself there. Shh. You idiot. <laughs> no, it's not that. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, one little bit there. Can you hear that? Yeah, okay, um, right. I usually, at this point now, rinse off, do a little face wash, but today, I'm gonna to do the other way about. I'm gonna use the Allen block, and then once I've used the Allen block and rinsed it off, then I can do a face wash. So that works out better, like, because if, as soon as you do a face wash and it leaves your face and skin soft, and you put the Allen block on, that's gone, it takes it all away. So I'm gonna rinse my face, and then I'll do the Allen block right now. Cold water rinse. Yeah, just a quick rinse. Yeah, that's when I thought, am I doing this the wrong way around? Let's try it this way. Okay, here's the uh, Allen block I use on the rocker. Square that under the top. Here, just on that little wee part. Nothing down here. Nothing on the moustache. Good. Okay, I'm going to rinse this off right now. Then, I'm going to scoop what's left in the brush here, nothing left there, and have a little face wash with the remainder of this. Yeah, I'll just leave this on my face and neck, well, as you can see, look, it's, uh, the alum's still there a little bit, but it just gives you a little bit of uh, soak to leave on your face to condition it even more. Kind of disappear, but that's fine. Once I rinse it off, it'll be real good. Okay, I'll see you guys for the post shave. I'll get cleaned up, all my gear, rinse this off with icy cold water. See you in a moment or two. There we go. Okay, let's go straight into the post shave. The aftershave is fine platinum. Good stuff this, I haven't used it in a while. Let's get a good splash of that. Oh. Oh. 
What a great sound. Nice. All right, to finish it off, the balm I'm going to use is the Nivea Men Body Sharing Anti Irritation. Comes in this pump. One and a half pumps, I guess. Probably going to be way too much, but there you go. What for that big head? Nice shave. Yeah, very nice. There was a couple little dots here, but the uh, the Allen block sorted that out. Feels very smooth, very comfortable. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's see if I rip that little thing opens up. Massing Grambo, massing Grambo. <laughs> Okay, let me show you what I've used in this shave today. The razor was the Hone Type 15A, which is aluminium, very light razor, very mild, but uh, in there was a feather blade, second use. Great razor. Um, what are my thoughts on it? Yeah, it feels, it feels very cushiony. I don't know if it's just the, the, the way the head's designed, but it feels, um, it doesn't feel like it's, it's uh, when you find the angle it doesn't feel like it's really scraping it's very comfortable it just glides uh, through the stubble over the soap very good I like it yeah as I say it's quite mild great for a daily shaver uh, and it looks great as well I really like the, the, the chunkiness of it not very heavy uh, what did I say it was 53 grams so very light but that's the razor that was great the brush today uh, was DS Cosmetic uh, 24 mil um, synthetic knot. Uh, there's their little logo on the bottom there. Yeah, great brush. Very comfortable to hold. Very comfortable. Um, whipped up the lather, no problem. Good brush. I'll put links for everything. You can go and check it out. The soap today, Phoenix and Bow V60. Uh, gourmand coffee, vanilla, cocoa, tobacco. Yeah, great soap. The coffee really came out once it was lathered. Um, and you've seen how I built the lather. Nice label on that as well. Really nice. Uh, that was three pass shave, three passes plus pickups. Then we applied the Allen block, rinsed that off, had a little face wash. Not much uh, soap left in the brush, but there was enough. A little bit, cleaned up my gear, uh, rinsed off with icy cold water, post shave, fine platinum, and finished it off with. Nivea Men Body Shaving Anti Irritation After Shave Lotion. And there we have it. Yeah, that little one there, look. But other than that, a very nice, comfortable shave. Good. Uh, that's all from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please keep the comments coming. I'm nearly at 7,000 subscribers, so I uh, can't believe how that's happened, but. There you go. Uh, it's all down to, to your guys and your continued support. And um, yeah, I just, I like interacting with people here on YouTube, um, fellow wet shavers. It's, uh, it's always a joy to answer questions and get some banter going, join in the chat and stuff like that. Um, yeah, very good. Okay, until the next time, uh, I don't know when the next shave will be, who knows, but um, I will be using a new cream that was suggested to me by one of my um, subscribers, people, I don't know if you subscribe or <laughs> um, someone left a comment saying you should try this cream so I've picked some up and uh, I will try and use that in the next video. So until then, have yourselves a fantastic rest of this week and the weekend um, and I shall see you in the next video. Stay healthy, stay fit, love everyone and I'll see you soon. Take care.